Hey, it's Dr. Buecher. I'm here with Richard, who is um, one of our patients who had a uh, bone marrow-derived stem cell procedure in the left knee. Um, that procedure was in January? Yes. And this is September, so that's it's been about eight months now since the procedure. Mm -hmm. And so, tell me, before the procedure, what was the main thing about that left knee that bothered you, or how was it limiting your activities or work? Or Well, it was uh, such that it was painful to uh, run on it, so I had to stop running. It got to the point where I couldn't even walk properly. Uh, when I would sit down, it would often take me 30 seconds of straightening the knee and putting pressure on it gradually before I could walk as well as I could walk at that point. Mm -hmm. And uh, prior to this injury, I was um, very, very active playing lots of sports, and I wanted to get back to that because it was changing my life. And so we, you know, R Richard's very educated and we spent a lot of time talking about the pros and cons and how we would expect a stem cell injection to help you. Um, after the procedure, uh, did you have any significant complications in that first week? Was it very painful or did you need crutches, that sort of thing? I believe I used a crutch on the way out of the office, but right after that, I was back putting pressure on it slowly uh, took it very gingerly for the first few days um, just followed your instructions and in a matter of uh, I was it, about three days or so I was walking uh, on it uh, again lightly mm -hmm. uh, but uh, it didn't immobilize me for very long and if you remember back to the procedure how painful was that we did it in the office so do you remember was that something that it, it really wasn't painful at all mm -hmm. it was uh, the most discomfort I realized was when the uh, stem cells were actually injected into the knee area mm -hmm. and that lasted just a few seconds and it was done. And the harvest site from where we took the bone marrow from your uh, posterior iliac crest, did that stay sore very long or was that pretty much better right away? Uh, it, I noticed that it was, um, I'll say sore to the touch for about a week, mm -hmm. but on a moment to moment, day to day basis. It never bothered me at all. Okay, great. I'm going to move over to the side. I'm going to have you show us your knee motion today so you can stay seated. Now, the right knee is not the knee we worked on, so show me the right knee first for comparison. So that knee comes all the way straight, mm -hmm. and then go ahead and lean back and flex that back. Great. And so that's our baseline for you because that side also, although we don't have the x-rays on the video, obviously, that, that side also does not have any significant arthritic change on x-ray, mm -hmm. unlike the left knee, which is the one we worked on. So show me the left knee extension straight as you can, and then hold up the right knee also so we can compare. So there's a little bit of a lag you can see there, but not, does that bother you clinically? Is that, you're not limping or anything? No, no. no. Okay, okay, and then the flexion on the left knee, let me see you do that. So that's pretty good Almost also. Almost the same as the right. Almost the same, and then show me, you mentioned something before we started the video about being able to squat and do some things you hadn't really been able to do before. Can you show me that? All right, so just flat squats mm -hmm. like this, but also, like a catcher squat mm -hmm. up on my the balls of my feet, mm -hmm. I was not able to even attempt something like that prior mm -hmm. to this procedure. And, and then tell me, mm -hmm. I can jump up and down from those squats. And then tell me about playing tennis. You're back playing more tennis now. Oh yes, um, I'm playing in two leagues. I play three or four times a week. Mm -hmm. I also play softball, mm -hmm. playing on hard surfaces, running full out. I don't baby this. Um, I do not have any soreness at the end of playing. Uh, I'm right back to being um, as competitive as I can possibly be at my age. Okay, great. And so I'm probably going to turn you loose after today, although I know you know where to find me if there's ever any questions. But this was just one procedure, one injection. We haven't planned on doing any second or third injections. All right, we'll see uh, how long this lasts. I'm hoping that it keeps on going. Fantastic. That's great. Thanks for sharing. Sure.